So what is launch angle analysis? Uh, we're going to look at diamond kinetics data. We've got the hit tracks going. We've got high speed camera going. So we're going to take a look at swing path versus ball flight to understand how to hit the ball most effectively. So I'm going to take a bunch of swings. We're going to pull up the data. We're going to look at what happens and see what's going on. Now we're going to use this top left approach angle. And that's the one we're going to really focus on right now. Approach angle is a number that reflects your bat's upward or downward path into contact. This first one, I'm going to exaggerate a negative downward swing. Negative 20 on hit tracks. We got negative 13, so obviously not a good swing. So typically, the launch angle that we want to achieve is around 15 to 20 degrees. So I'm going to try to hit a line drive right now at that. Uh, at that launch angle. So that one we got, what, 16 degrees? So the difference there was going from this negative path through the ball to that one was 10 degrees upward at contact. Obviously, that's a big difference. I had to do something different with my body. I had to get the bat moving on a different trajectory into the ball. This one I'm going to try to swing downward, but hit the ball up. So essentially I'm going to try to create backspin to hit a line drive. But really what this is, is we're just cutting the ball and not getting energy into it. So this one should be pretty cool with all the data. That was very well executed, negative 10 on the swing, 20 on the launch. That's pretty ideal in terms of what I'm trying to create. You can see the, uh, the exit speed on that one was 60. So that's not very good. This one I'm going to try to swing upward too much and top spin the ball. Uh, so this one has got to be going upward, but I'm going to clip the top of the ball on the way up. 32 up, 36. On the, uh, on the launch angle. So again, the ball's not going to be hit very hard, very far. The only way to hit that ball really, really far is if you have an incredible bat speed. And you can see my body positioning wasn't really, wasn't really going to help with that. So I'm going to take some swings that are more reasonable. Positive approach angle in that 10 to 15 range. Try to hit the ball 20, 25 degree launch angle on the hit tracks. Thirteen up, eighteen on the hit. That's pretty good. That's generally what we're going for. We should see this bat moving slightly up through contact. On the hit tracks, we can see the the uh, launch angle. So fifteen up, eleven down. Got over that ball slightly, and hopefully we're going to see that on video because that's what I felt. All right, one more. I'm going to try to zero out. I'm going to try to swing completely flat and hit the ball completely flat on hit tracks. That one's three, negative eight. So again, hopefully we see that through contact being relatively flat. On the hit tracks, we're seeing that line drive. And that's really a line drive at the pitcher. To hit a ball at zero, it's going to be more of a ground ball. It's going to go downward. It's going to go flat off the tee and go downward pretty much right away. So when we're looking at launch angle and your approach angle, it's very important to understand how we swing the bat to create the desired ball flight. That's what we're doing with launch angle analysis. That's what we're going to do this weekend at our uh, weekend hitting clinics. So hope to see you there. Take care.